This movie is showing how we can create switch back stairs with advanced tip. So I'm going to use the automatic stair macro to create the first stair, just giving a start point and the end point, and some stairs are automatically created. So as we can see, we have the treads, the stringers, and also all the connections between the thread and the stringer. From the dialog box, it's easy to ask for landings. We can ask, for example, for a top landing. Now what I'm going to do is to select this cuboid and copy it so I can specify a value or I can enter a value by myself and I'm going to copy the stairs here a little bit more far away. Again with the advanced copy tool we can rotate so we can pick a rotate point, give the rotation angle 180 degrees and make a rotate copy of the stair. Now it's easy to select the first stairs, right click, delete it. What I would like to do now is to add some bottom landings on the copied stair. So very easy in the dialog to go to bottom landing and ask for the creation of the front and the rear beam for the bottom landing. Now we can use all the tools to navigate through the 3D model. We can also create some construction lines. Let's create a small construction line and now I just need to pick the cuboid of the first stair and move them to the final location. You can snap to the end point. I was wrong in my selection, sorry, I need to select the inside cuboid. With a right click, move it, start from the node point which is here and pick the end point of the line which is here and now the stairs are correctly moved to the expected location. With the vi view visual style we can also display the 3D model in realistic mode. It's much nicer, nicer to see the result. If needed we can go back to, to the wireframe. Now I'm going to draw a line, a construction line from the channel here on the left to the channel on the right. I get the construction line which is created. I can also select it, type list, and I get different information, including the length of this line. So if I take this value and I create a new line from the midpoint, which is here, and I give it the value half of the value, I get another construction line which is here. Now I just need to go to the palette, move the UCS to place it exactly in the plane I would like to complete this platform. I'm going to show you now how to create a curve beam. So it's very easy. Pick the start point. Pick also the end point, which is here. And now I can pick also the end of the construction line and the curve beam is automatically created. From the drop down list, I can select channel. I can go for UPN. I can pick a different section. It's also very easy to give it an offset and to ask for its marrow. And if the section is too small, you can increase it at any time from the combo box. Now I'm going to select this line to extend it a little bit of 20 millimeters because the cover plate must be a little bit bigger. And now to create this uh, cover plate, I'm going to create first a rectangular one with three points. So I can start from this point here. I can pick the second point at the end of this plate and for the third point I just need to pick here the end of the line and the rectangular plate is automatically created. I can just double click here on the beam to check the radius and if I go to the palette I have different tools to make chamfer. So I can make a plate fillet, just enter the value of the radius and it's created on the corner of the plate. We can do the same here on the other corner. And if we go to realistic mode, we see the nice result that we get uh, here on the platform. Now what I need to do is to uh, create a, a bigger rectangular plate. Uh, so I'm going to uh, use the rectangular plate with two points command, pick two diagonal points, and the rectangular plate is created automatically. And now, as a rock clown, I'm going to go back to the stairs macro 
uh, to the bottom landing for this one and I'm going to remove the fact that we create a cover here uh, on the bottom landing of the stairs. So we're going to choose none. Uh, so this is removed, uh, but this is uh, removing also the offset of the beam. So I'm going to add a value minus five because my plate's thickness is five. I'm going to do the same here for the stairs on the right. Go to the top landing, remove the plate, go to top cover, choose none in the combo, and give again here an offset, a landing offset for the landing beams. So I have now two plates, circular plate, regular plate. I can change the thickness of the plate at any time. Just double click on them. I can also uh, change the justification, put it on the bottom, on the top, and once again change the thickness if required. Now what I would like to do is to merge the plates. So here you have different tools for the plates. Uh, you can go also to Extended Modeling Ribbon or to Home. Uh, you can split a plate. Uh, you can create a plate from a polyline and you can merge plates. So I'm going to pick the plate here in wireframe mode. Maybe it's a little bit difficult because I have different lines. So an easy way also is to go back to realistic mode. I have one plate here and another one here. Go back to the merge plate command, pick this one, this other one, press enter, and now I get a unique plate. So you see this is very easy to merge plates also with just one command. So we are going to complete uh, this switch back stairs by creating a railing. We are going to, stair, to start here on the first stairs. Uh, I need to pick the stringer. Uh, I need to specify the start point, maybe the node point which is here at the bottom of my stringer, an end point here, press enter to validate, and advanced steel is going to automatically create a railing on the top of the stringer. So railing means post, uh, top end rail, middle end rail, quick rail, and many other possibilities from inside the dialog. Just as an example, you can ask for a loop return here at the end of the end rail, uh, you can also connect the post to the stringers with welds, uh, welded plate or body plate, and then it's very easy, easy to use any to change any values in the dialog box which appears. We can do the same here. So as you can see, I can select more than one beam. I can select three beams. Uh, two of them are straight, and one of them is curved here on our platform. Then I need to specify a start point. Uh, the command is still active, but I can use the orbit uh, tool to rotate my model, pick the points, and automatically a railing is created on this platform. So very easy to use. Uh, it works on straight and also on curved beam, and we get automatically a curved railing. Once again, we can connect the post to the beams. Uh, we can ask for a specific quantity of bolts, and here is the result between this railing and the platform. Of course, we need to connect each element. So for that, Advanced Steel provides a complete connection vault tool where you find many automatic and parametric connections. Here I'm going to use a MITRE one just to connect here the quick ray and the quick ray together. I can use another possibility which is in this stairs and railings category. Uh, select the middle and rail and the other one. And inside the dialog, you can choose to have a mitre cut or a knee. Uh, same thing here between the two top and rail. I'm going to use the same connection between the two tubes and specify that I want to have a knee here. What we can do, uh, of course, we can close the palette. We can rotate around the stairs. I would like to show you how uh, we can also create some uh, base plate here at the bottom of the stringer. So I just place the UCS here, go to the connection vault, use the right connection, and automatically I get some angle which, are, which is created. So you can choose to add a vertical profile. Uh, you have a G anchor which is created automatically. You can ask for one angle or double angles. You have many possibilities. You can also just ask for a hole. It can be a slotted hole. You can define the hole diameter. You can define the length also. Uh, you can choose if uh, the distance, as you can see, distance number one here is smaller or bigger. 
If this connection is fine for you with advanced seal, it's very easy to use a tool uh, to uh, place it on the other side of the stairs and rings. So this is the end of this presentation. As you could see, it was less, it took me less than 10 minutes to create this project. So thanks to advanced steel, this is very easy uh, to use.